Hello, this is Gulsado. Welcome back to Factorio Centurion, episode 7. Now, the audio might sound pretty strange on this one, and that's because I've been re-watching my videos and realised that this episode, as well as 8 and 9, which will come out tomorrow and the day after, have no sound. So, this is more of a replay commentary, so let's see if I can figure out what I was doing. Looks like we're just moving the science packs, science labs, over to the right here. This is definitely a bit less fun than playing. And I guess it's very different without the background music. I think uh, I'll be starting a more permanent science area once I get blue science, but to do that, I'll need to get oil first. And that's a whole song and dance. I have to learn a very particular set of circuitry skills for that. So it looks like we're expanding green science here. I wonder what I'm looking for. Lights. Gotta keep it bright and pretty. Yep, that's a lamp. Ah, uh, okay. So this is where we start the saga of me trying to get lamps automated. And I keep getting distracted along the way. So I think right now I'm trying to figure out the mathematics of iron sticks to lamp ratio. Which I'm still not sure if I've got it right, so make sure you tell me in the comments. So I think I've, what I figured out was, it was, now I don't even remember, maybe 6 to 4, which is this simplified to 3 to 2. There's me moving the science again. Obviously, this is a very rookie mistake, recording without sound, but I'm pretty new to the Let's Play industry, and you only really have to make the mistake once to learn it. I actually work in volunteer radio in my, uh, my hometown here in Perth, and... Sometimes I'll do readings of H.P. Lovecraft on the air uh, during a metal show. And one time I read the first maybe four pages of Dagon with my microphone off. So this isn't the first time I've made this mistake. But it's the first time I've made this mistake in the comfort of my own home. Luckily, in that, in that time, it was uh, after midnight on a weekday. And I had soothing sounds of rain in the background. So I didn't get any calls of people freaking out or anything like that. But maybe if I had, I would have figured out earlier. So right here I'm splitting off green circuits for something. No, I'm making a buffer of them with these loaders. I'm actually working on a... HD texture for these loaders, which I think will be released in episode 
13, so you can look forward to that. And I'll leave the file for them in the comments of that video. I've just been messing around with a few things, trying to figure out how the textures work in this game. I wonder if it's somewhat soothing watching Factorio in silence, or if it's frustrating. Well, thanks for your patience anyway. Is he building lamp production here? Yep, we're trying to figure out the mathematics of iron sticks. So we get two iron sticks in half a second. So that means that every second we'll have four iron sticks. So I think I've simplified that. So I've made three where I was going to make six because I only need, well I really only need one machine making lamps. But I wanted to try and get the ratios right. So as I've said before, well maybe, maybe I said in one of these silent episodes, I record these episodes in batches to give myself a little bit of a buffer in, in case uh, I'm out of internet range or uh, my internet can't upload, which is semi-often because uh, as I said I live in Western Australia, which has pretty shocking internet on the whole and I live at the end of the exchange, so you know how it is. So I recorded my first 12 videos before I uploaded any. But after that I think I'll just record in batches of three so that I'm not too far behind on comments if, everyone, any, if anyone has any criticisms or tells me something in my factory isn't working. So I can respond to that as quickly as possible, but still play longer than 20 minutes at a time. So we're coming back over here. I think this is when I figured out I needed steel. Just upgrading some of these assembling machines. Now, even though the ratios aren't always perfect doing this, I will eventually upgrade everything to the highest of its type out of some kind of compulsion. So I use the upgrade planner mod to do that. Now, I believe... Oh, no, that's in a later episode. I talk about... Releasing my mod list in episode 11, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is No, I will I will keep it then because I think I change a couple of mods in between this episode and the next couple But a few I can see now are uh, uh, Long reach obviously Which once you use you'll never be able to go back 
bottleneck, would you see those green, amber, and red lights on my machines telling me if they're working or not? I use RSO, Resource Spawner Overhaul, which may have been overridden by my settings. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So I'm making the iron line split off into steel here. I feel like I'm watching my brain grind to a halt. So we got that running again. You can see I've got some wood there on my coal line. Sometimes I put some of my extra wood into a chest to unload into the fuel line. because I don't use it for anything. And I believe that is too narrow. But we'll, we'll wait for uh, past me to figure this out. I feel like Matthew McConaughey and in Interstellar, dashingly good looking. Looking back through time through the Tesseract. It's too narrow, Murph. What's happening here? Ah, uh, yes, we're making a buffer of transport belt. using loaders and a chest. There's that lamp production still not happening. So I'm sending half of my iron throughput to steel. Waiting for the moment of realization. I believe it's right now. Oh boy. That's why we need lamp production. There's some pesky trees in the way as usual. So I've got space for two iron lines down here. But I've left myself no space to add anything else to the bus at that location. Which I'm sure I'll figure out later, we'll see. We'll see.
So just trying to make the most out of my underground belts to save on belt, of which I'm quite starved off at the time being. I feel like that could be an ASMR video, just Australian man chops wood in Factorio, 15 hours. It's very frustrating because I, I had actually uploaded episode 7 and episode 8 which for a 20 minute episode takes about two hours using my internet. Outrageous. I think I was just having fun shooting trees here because it doesn't seem quicker. And that's where I figure it out. Uh, and I want a steel axe, but that's why I'm making these steel lines to begin with. So obviously it would be nice to have the sound effects in the background, but we make do with what we've got. Here I'm getting one step closer. So close to having the iron on the line. May as well make use of that pocket crafting. So now I'm trying to figure out where the splitter goes. And I figured out that the iron is on the wrong side of the line. Now I haven't given myself any room here to expand into electric furnaces later. Which again in episode 13 is something I'll expand upon, I think. And it's really easy to see where I've gone wrong re-watching the videos. And that gets coal onto the line. No, it doesn't. Because there's no underground entrance. So 
that's where we need to have a splitter. The lines are clear. We've got something on both lines. And I've just researched electronic circuits, which we'll have fun with in the next episode. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Gulsado. I'll see you in the next episode.